Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel. I am excited to have you join me again for another Plan With Me week. But first, I just want to thank you all for joining me, your support to my, my subscribers, my viewers. It really means a lot to me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us again. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. And just uh, to show you, I am going to be using my Erin Condren, my horizontal planner. I've got this nice cover of a little of a girl with all kinds of florals, just nice in springtime, even though it doesn't feel like spring here yet. And I'm go going to be using this Lemon and Honey Mardi Gras kit for the week of Mardi Gras. I'm going to be doing the last week of February. It's my other son-in-law, Mike, his uh, birthday week. So I've got some pictures of him to add. I've got an old Mardi Gras picture from maybe 30 years ago. So that's interesting. And anyway, let's get into it. So thanks for joining me. I hope that you stick around. everybody so this is my finished spread so thank you so much for watching up to this point and again this is uh the Mardi Gras kit from Lemon and Honey she's got an awesome Etsy shop she's right here in Minnesota I believe she's in Hastings Minnesota um awesome designs great kits great uh, prices and quick quick delivery love that little shop so anyway um again this is Mardi Gras week and it's also our son-in-law Mike's birthday that's Sabrina's husband and the jelly beans daddy so anyway got a few pictures of him in here to celebrate his birthday and an old picture from a Mardi Gras week so anyway just um to see okay so i always start my uh spreads by putting in the forecast for the days i we didn't have any rain um we didn't have any snow we didn't have any freezing cold days so it was a nice week weather wise i then i also for to go for my accountability i've got my weight in for the beginning of the week the end of the week and the steps that i do on the elliptical any exercises that i do in the week and my fitbit steps so, um, of course, here, so I've got the forecast for the day. I've got my steps on the elliptical, the hours that I put into it, the miles that I did, and then my Fitbit steps. And I'm not sure why, but these step stickers that I have from Planner Kate, they just never seem to stick. But 
anyway um so the best day that i had on the elliptical was on wednesday where i had uh 20,222 steps i had pedaled for 5.53 hours and i had 8.08 .08 miles in the best day that i had on my fitbit for extra walking was on tuesday where i had 11,113 steps um i at the end of it i'll go through uh, the total miles that i had and stuff for the week so i love doing that it just is really really fun so anyway let's get into the details here so let's start with monday love the sticker that we have um that came from this kit it says don't hide your crazy parade it down the street and that is just so fun so i've got this uh quarter box here i guess you'd call it and i just put that i had to uh, stop to um, return my fashion at the post office I worked on YouTube for about three hours um, I had good luck I was um, I've been sculpting out some new white sneakers I have some white sneakers but the kind that you're supposed to be able to get them easy on and easy off so they got some elastic in the back but they really hurt my um, ankles the back of my heels when I'm using my elliptical so I've been sculpting QVC for some uh, shoes that I liked and I actually scored i did score um they had the isaac mizrahi ones they're a white sneaker with like i said they have lace over it just really really pretty so they were on the as is um and also and i didn't have room to write it but um you know how i love my renee my attitudes by renee and the women with control there was also a return or could have been a model product of that they used when they were doing the uh, shows so i had an, uh, an as is for the uh, black sweater that has the uh, fringe tassel that i just love that so i got both of those on qvc as is i also did an outfit of the day look and this is a new sticker that i have and this is from jump to it designs which i had some custom script made from her so loving that and a picture of mike this was to actually taken on new year's eve and that he's got his 2020 glasses on so on to tuesday um after work i worked on youtube for about an hour i had to go to biolee's um to return my stitch fix after work and biolee's has a post office that's inside so i often go there when i need to return something if i don't get to go during the work day so while i was there i wanted some grapes so I went over to get some grapes and I was just kind of scoping them out. And then I looked up at this lady that had been there for quite a while. And she was actually going through the grapes, picking every grape off the vine and putting it in another bag so that I don't, I don't know. And then I just kind of freaked out. It's like, I didn't know what, what she touched, what she didn't touch. And I just put my bag down and walked out of the store. And I had other things in my grocery cart. I just put them back on the shelves. It's like I just didn't want anything. I was so disgusted by that. So anyway, um, I didn't get my grapes. But anyway, when I came home, I had my Transcend. And it was the first box that I had from Transcend. And if you're not familiar with Transcend, it's a styling box. And I, I've seen a bit other videos with it for a couple of years now. And I just uh, never got into it. And then all of a sudden, one day I was watching one and it was like, man, I got to try that. So anyway, I um, got my first box while it was there. So I did the try on. I filmed the unboxing, the try ons, and I got it uploaded. Just so excited. I can't wait for my next box. Actually, it's going to be on, on next week or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I forgot already. But anyway, the uh, film and the upload stickers, they are from Sticker Bloom and this transcend uh script is from jump to it designs um this picture right here this mardi gras picture actually and i don't know if it was maybe 30 could have even been 35 years ago um my husband and i went to a mardi gras party down the street uh some great neighbors that we had back in Pawtucket, what er, ernie and judith potter um he was an excellent cook he's actually right here that's ernie um he's probably over six feet tall um he's also going still strong in his in his band through the doors um they do all jim morrison in the Doors song he's got a fantastic voice um if you're ever in the rhode island area he does a lot of shows out there and um just really a nice band nice guy great cook and loves to do cajun food so they have big mardi gras party every year his wife judith is actually a photographer she does a lot of high-end weddings and people that uh, book the mansions and things in newport she's usually the photographer of choice um 
beautiful beautiful picture she also paints so a lot of times she paints the pictures um, from different weddings that she does and baby portraits she actually took this picture of Mardi Gras uh, some of us that were there and then she painted it a few years later so that's me I um I don't know where Rick is he was probably out having a cigarette because he was a heavy smoker um, so he went as Indiana Jones and I went as his sidekick. So I've got my kind of tannish safari out outfit on and my uh, scarf that I use for mask, which we could probably use now for the COVID-19. But just a really, really fun night. She actually posted this on Facebook not too long ago. So I printed that out because I knew I wanted to put it in here for Mardi Gras week. So let's go on to Wednesday. So Wednesday, uh, Trash Day, that's uh, from Planner Kate. I've got my Trash Girl from Sugary Gal Shop, and I worked on my Pilates Reformer for about 30 minutes, and that is from Planner Kate as well. Um, we got the King Cake, so I love that. Also worked on YouTube for about four hours that night. Also, it works. So, um, and that sticker is also from Jump To It Designs. They had a buy one, get one uh, free, and I've been wanting to try um, like this chocolate mousse and I'm not really a big chocolate lover but it's a mix that you can put in coffee you can put it in shakes you can put it in anything you want and it's got all these vitamins and these minerals and it's got caffeine in it too to help boost your metabolism a little bit so I bought a couple of packets of that and I mix that with my morning shake with my keto coffee and also my chocolate greens uh, just love that so anyway that sticker I got from jump to it designs so let's go on to the birthday boys birthday day so thursday the 27th it's mike's birthday um this picture was actually uh sabrina took that they we used to when people came here before there was a uh, uh cabela's that was so close to us we used to take a trek down to Owatonna. it was a couple hours away so we'd always stop at the cracker barrel have breakfast um in burnsville i think it's burnsville and then we would go down to uh Cabela's for the day so anyway he was posing by some pictures and they have all beautiful stuff you know I'm not going to call it well I'm not it's taxidermy so would you call it a stuffed animal but beautiful beautiful displays there um so anyway she just happened to get them with the moose ears or the moose horns or caribou horns or whatever behind them so we just love that picture so I had to make sure I put that in here uh, the birthday sticker is from one of my Erin Condren books I worked on YouTube for about six hours I put in a grocery order with Walmart and I believe the sticker is from the kit from honey and lemon I also stopped at Target on the way home so I did a, a grocery run and the uh, little shopping girl here she's planner Kate and the grocery run I believe is from scribble prints and also uh, I had a Castro delivery coming in for work so I wanted to make sure I got there early so we could get that unloaded and we could get get the inventory updated and again that's one of my new scripts from Jump To It Designs alrighty we are on the next page so we have Friday and again I've got my Friday's Friday girl and that is from um, the sugary gal shop the picture here is uh, Mike and Sabrina and the jelly beans Tori pie and Aiden and there is this park um, that we go through when we're in the summer when we're out riding on the bikes and there's a water park there and the water is always always on it's just always on so we thought it was a nice hot day we would take the kids down there go for a ride stop there with the kids the water wasn't on it was a hot hot day and the water wasn't on so anyway we did pose as a the mississippi rivers behind them it's just an awesome park have no idea why the water was not on that day so anyway i did an outfit of the day look a quick video and again that script is from jump to it designs and then i have planner kate here um uh, the yoga girl and i worked on the pilates reformer for about 30 minutes that night and i got about six hours into youtube so i think i'm getting pretty caught up on responding to people so feeling pretty good about that i got the hello weekend banner um i put um this little half box in here 
Um, and I just uh, put down that I worked on Saturday from 12 to 6 and I got gas. I worked on YouTube for about eight hours, um, did a little laundry. I washed some brights and that's a picture on Sabrina played with a different filter here. So I love this picture. So it's Tori Pie and Mike and Aiden's off to the side there. So I love that picture. Um, on to Sunday. So Sunday, I've got this uh, laundry day because I did sheets and towels. Um, and that is from the Honey and Lemon Kit. Uh, the work script is from Scribble Prints. And I went to work from about 12 to 5 that day. And then when I came home, I worked on YouTube for about six hours. And this is a picture that uh, when Sabrina and Mike went down to Florida for my nephew's wedding, and they had one of those fun photo booths. So they all were in there getting their pictures taken with the different props. So just very, very fun. Um, I've just got some motivational stickers in this part right here. So um, these are from Erin Condren. So 20 minutes is all it takes. And when you think about it, I mean, 20 minutes when you've got a busy, busy day is hard. But if you can just try to squeeze in 20 minutes a couple of times a week, whether it's cardio work or some strength training or whether you go for a nice first squat, 20 minutes, that's what we're looking for. So I'm hoping, and with the elliptical, I get more than that in, but I would like to get some more strength training in and uh, the Pilates time in. So, and then bloom and grow, and then just a little flower there. I started the week at 110, 110 pounds. I finished the week at 109.6. For the steps that I had in on my elliptical for the week, I had 104,558. I had pedaled for 28.22 hours and I went 41.81 miles all while sitting on my desk not off my desk, but sitting at my desk at work. Uh, my Fitbit steps were 49,674. And again, this kit was from Lemon and Honey. It's the Mardi Gras kit. Just loving the colors. Love the purples, the greens, and the yellows. Got a little bit of foiling here. All the washi that I use this time is from Scribble. No, Simply Gilded. So loving that. I should have probably whited out... Um, the, uh, er, the uh, dividers that come in this because I just always think that the uh, washi is going to cover it but it doesn't always do it but anyway this is my finished spread I want to thank everyone for joining me love to hear your comments on how I can make this go a little bit faster um, so anyway I look forward to your comments I hope that you have a great week I hope everyone out there is staying safe um, with this COVID-19 that's going around. It just, uh, I just started to fill in my March calendar on here. So I've got just different days that um, the restaurants and the dine-ins closed and the schools closed and the social distancing and how it was. And of course, now I think we've gone out through the end of April for this um, shelter in place. I'm still going to work every day, but I know a lot of people aren't. So I am keeping my sanity by working. I hope everyone is uh, doing something if they're sheltered at home, just having fun with your kids, maybe helping helping them with the distance learning and just um, try to make the best of it. And we will all chat again soon. So thanks everyone. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. I look forward to chatting with you again. Bye-bye. Have a great week.